In this video, I'm gonna be giving you an update on my current shoe, Rotation. What is up everybody, and it is spring 2022. Where is the time? going, I know, it's incredible, isn't it? Now, firstly, massive plug. We're gonna do this at the front end of the video, so hopefully more of you listen to this before you sort of switch off at the end. Um, have you listened to the Long Run Podcast? It's Malaysia's biggest podcast. It's the number one podcast in Malta. So these are all really, really important facts that you need to know. I need you to check it out. Go over to your uh, podcast provider, whether it be Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast and check out the Long Run Podcast. What is it? Well, it's just, basically me and the lads talking about running, because we love running. Uh, we talk about shoes, but we talk about everything. I hope to give you some tips and advice along the way, and we get some guests on and stuff like that. It's kind of awesome, so check it out. Okay, so my current shoe rotation, spring 2022. Now, there's gonna be a load of shoes coming out, so I wanted to update you now on where we're at in terms of shoes, what I'm wearing, what I'm not wearing, and obviously I've got a lot of them, so I've tried to pick out sort of one or two uh, sort of for each distance and each thing that I'm using them for. That's where we're trying to go with this video. Um, now some of these are gonna be switched out. I will talk about the ones that I'm looking to replace. And some of them are new, some of them are old, so it might give you some ideas. That's what I'm trying to, trying to give you, is some ideas on maybe shoes that you may be looking for a 5K shoe or a half marathon shoe. And hopefully some of these shoes in this video will give you some ideas okay right sit back relax now you can skip through this in the chapters in the description so if you want to skip through to a certain shoe then do that go into the chapters and check it out but i think that's it so we better get into this video because i think it's going to be a long one okay so first up let's talk daily trainers it's the easiest thing um, to get out of the way now my daily trainer pick at the moment is the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. It's probably my favorite shoe um, in terms of daily trainers out there. It's 100 pounds and it's like under 10 ounces and does everything that I want it to do. Now, you have to remember that I'm running sometimes two times a day because I'm coaching. I'm, so I'm also wearing daily training shoes for different uses. So if I'm doing an easy run and then a faster session in the evening, I'm mixing it up. Um, I also have the Gel Nimbus Lite 3, which I'm very much enjoying. Although I think at 165 pounds, it is hard maybe to push it to you guys to justify. And the other daily trainer uh, that I'm kind of using a lot at the moment is the New Balance 1080 version 12. Um, I just prefer this setup versus the other setup. I like the heel counter, very much feels like the 880. And the Fresh Foam X in it just feels kind of nice on those easy miles. So they're my sort of daily trainer go-tos at the moment. Um, there are other shoes, obviously, that I said that I'm wearing, but we'll concentrate on the ones that I've picked out of the garage today. And, th and that's the thing with this video. These are the shoes that when I go into the garage to get the shoes that I'm going to run in if I'm not reviewing or whatever, um, these are the shoes that I'll pick out. So that's, that's the ethos of, of the video. Um, okay, i tell you what, let's do 5K track day park run shoes next. Okay, so fast park run, track sessions, um, and speedier work. I'm pretty much living in the Takumi Sen 8, and I've still got the Skechers Razor Elite. Both of these shoes are super, super lightweight. The Skechers is like barely there. Um, both have got, well, both have got a plate, but both have got carbon elements, so I would say. This has got the plate in it, these have got the energy rods in it. Uh, grips, okay on both, you've got Continental and Goodyear rubber on the shoes. Uh, this has got like a mono mesh upper, and this has got more of a traditional mesh upper, I would say. Both fit true to size, but because of the lightness of the shoes, if I'm looking to run a quick time over the 5K distance, or maybe a speed session on a track, or even like intervals, these are the two shoes I'm really, really heading towards at the moment. Okay, so 10K, um, now I've left them in the garage, so my bad, okay? But 10K, I'm wearing the Next Percent um, version two. I'm also kind of wearing these, uh, the Takumi Sent 8, depending on what it is, but if it's a 10K sort of race event, then it's either the Takumi Sent 8 or the Next Percent. I love the Next Percent, it's probably, the out and out fastest shoe I have. Well, so I'm a bit annoyed that I left it downstairs. But that's the shoe I would wear on, on a, on a quickish or quicker 10K. Okay, so half marathons, I'm in the Pro Plus from Saucony. Uh, this was a tweaked version on a limited run. Uh, we've got speed roll, power run PB, all that sort of stuff in there, carbon plate, but they changed around. Actually, have I got the other version here? Yeah, they mucked about with it a little bit. Uh, and it's just super lightweight and it's perfect for me over the half marathon distance. So this is the shoe 
I'm wearing in a half marathon sort of race. Uh, I'm also wearing, if I'm just mucking about and not really chasing the time, I've got the um, Puma Elite carbon plate in it as well. Nitro infused midsole is so soft, so quick. I love the mesh, um, mono mesh upper in the shoe, fits true to size. Again, super lightweight as well, both of these shoes. Actually, I've got the scales here. Let's have a, let's have a look in terms of the weight. So the Elite, 212 grams, I'll put ounces up on the screen. And then the Plus uh, is 215, so both lightweight shoes. Very snappy, very quick. Uh, this has probably got a better outsole, but I love these shoes, both of these shoes, over the half marathon distance. Okay, marathons next. Uh, I always go Alpha Fly. This is my new pair of Alpha Fly. These are untested and untried in race conditions, but these will be getting an outing uh, in Edinburgh. Uh, but I've worn the Alpha Fly, you can't see them, they're up there. In the last few marathons, I absolutely love the Alpha Fly. I can't wait for version two, but for me, I said it before in videos, it's just a, it's the ultimate cruising around machine. I would say if I wasn't gonna be cruising around in this, I would wear the Metaspeed Sky. I kind of, kind of undenied between the two. I really like the Metaspeed Sky, but I'll be honest with you, I've not yet had the confidence to put them into the marathon distance, but these are sort of the two shoes that I would wear. So I'll give you an example where I would wear the Metaspeed Sky. Uh, at the end of 2022, I've got two marathons booked uh, a couple of weeks apart. So I would wear, for the slow one, not the A race, I would wear the Metaspeed Sky uh, just to get the distance done. And then for race day, I would wear the Alpha Fly. Okay, long run shoes. Uh, I think it's worth talking about long run shoes. Um, I've, oh, I've left them downstairs as well. I've got the Craft CTM, which I'm really, really enjoying. And I've got the Pro 2 here. Apologies for not having the Craft up here as well, uh, but I can only get so many shoes on the desk. But I've got the Socony uh, Endorphin Pro with the uh, two with the Power Run PB midsole carbon plate, uh, which is just a fantastic shoe. Uh, the Craft is great for those sh uh, long runs when I'm not looking to put pace through those long runs, uh, but I am able to pick it up a little bit. If I'm doing any pace work in a long run, I'm using the Pro too. Uh, one shoe I did forget about, which I do need to talk about, um, and it's the Run Shield uh, Speed um, Endorphin and the Speed e, uh, 2, Speed Endorphin, Endorphin Speed 2. Uh, these shoes are being chucked in at all sorts of different levels, and that's why I wanted to talk about them. Uh, these are the Run Shield versions, so I've been wearing these through the winter when it's been wet, horrible here in the UK. I have found these very, very soft compared to the normal um, speeds, but for example, with the daily miles, uh, the speed gets chucked in there. Long runs, the speed may get chucked in there. Half marathon, the speed may get chucked in there. So it's a shoe that sort of floats between all distances for me. I might even wear these at a park run, for example. Now, trail shoes in the rotation at the moment, I've not bought them up. And the reason is, firstly, they're really muddy and it's gonna make my desk really muddy and Mrs. Ford will kill me with all the mud on the floor. But also, uh, I'm waiting with bated breath for the Speed Goat 5. That is gonna be my trail shoe of 2022. So I'm waiting for that to arrive. So that's why I didn't waste your time with some of the other shoes. We've got the Tribuco Max, which I absolutely love. We've got the Tribuco 9, which I absolutely love. Uh, obviously the Pegasus Trail. Um, but yeah, I'm basically waiting for the Speed Goat 5. Right, and then to finish the video, I thought it'd be cool to do my casual shoes. My current pick, my favorite pick of shoes that I'm not running and that I'm wearing is the Noosa 13. I absolutely love this design, mainly because it goes really well with my Say Sky um, red camo, which drives Mrs. Ford up the wall. But I really, really love these shoes. Just to wear in and tear in and just, you know, rocking it out. Um, I think I've done maybe two runs in the shoe. If that, no, it's got to be, it's got to be two runs and they were maximum four miles. But they're just, it's just a, it's a comfortable shoe that I just hang out in. Okay, so that is the current spring 22 shoe rotation. I am looking for Socket Endorphin Speed 3, uh, Socket Endorphin Pro 3. I'm looking for an update on the uh, Metaspeed Sky to see where that goes, whether that does take over in terms of the Alpha Fly. You know, I said at the end of the year, obviously Alpha Fly 2. Um, Takumi Sen 8, uh, is, uh, we've got some new shoes coming from Sketches uh, towards the end of the year. Obviously, the Puma Deviate Nitro was a really popular shoe for me last year. Waiting to see what they do along that line there, um, because that was a little bit more of a stable alternative to a speed. Um, in terms of daily trainers, I'm really looking forward to the Glide Ride 3, because for me, 
Glowriter is firm and I need a shoe when I get back into marathon training after Edinburgh and I'm hoping the Glide Ride 3 will do that with the Flight Foam uh, Plus in it or whatever they've called it uh, this time round. Uh, what other shoes? Speed Goat 5 I've mentioned that I'm looking forward to. What else, what else? I think that's probably it. Um, but what I want to know from you now is what shoes are you looking forward to in 2022? Now, I appreciate there's a lot of shoes here, a lot of information, uh, but yeah, like I said, I wanna know from you, what shoe are you looking to replace in your rotation? Is there a specific shoe you're waiting for to come out? Um, I'm super excited about the stuff from New Balance towards the end of the year, by the way. Uh, the SC Racer, for example, and things like that. So let's wait and get them on the channel. Um, we've not got here the stuff from Socking, like the, the Ride, thir um, Ride 13, the Ride 15. There's nothing from Brooks here. Let's see what they do with the Hyperion, uh, and we'll try and get that on the channel. But yeah, so what are you looking forward to in 2022? What shoes in your rotation are you looking to change it up? I will um, probably do another one of these videos in the summer. I think if, you, if you're interested, let me know in the comments. I'll try and do one of these in the summer, bring you up to date with what, what's sort of been parked and what's not been um, sort of not made the cut for summer 2022. So let me know in the comments if that would be useful to do another one of these kind of rotation videos. Well, I think that's it. Told you it was going to be a long one. Uh, make sure you listen to the Long Run Podcast and I'll catch you guys later.